All right, so most of the videos I've seen for doing vertical exaggeration are uh, kind of confusing. So let's just work out two examples from the practice problems page that you guys have so that you have an example. So this says work out the vertical exaggeration of a cross section if the vertical scale is one centimeter represents 20 meters and the scale of the map, which is the horizontal scale, is one to 100,000. Okay, so let's just start out with our uh, vertical scale. The vertical scale is one centimeter represents 20 meters. And our horizontal scale, if you look at it, is listed in what's called a representative fraction. It doesn't have any units with it. And when you see a representative fraction, that means that you can choose whatever unit you want, but it has to apply to both parts. So if you say this is centimeters, this means that your map has a scale that it, where every one centimeter represents 100,000 centimeters. Or you could say one inch represents 100,000 inches. But you can't do something like this scale where one centimeter represents 20 meters. So you can say one centimeter represents 100,000 meters. That's a big no-no. And when I do these problems, what I need to happen is I need the first part of the measurement to be the same. So I'm going to choose to make this 1 to 100,000 a 1 centimeter equals 100,000 centimeter scale. So now these two parts are the same, but these are different. I have a couple of choices at this point. I can turn this into centimeters, or I can convert this back to meters. And I think it's pretty easy to go from meters to centimeters. Now I know that there are 100 centimeters in a meter, so 20 meters times 100 centimeters for every one meter, well, 20 times 100, that's 2,000 centimeters. So we'll just get rid of that part. So now I have a scale that says 1 centimeter is 2,000 centimeters, and 1 centimeter is 100,000 centimeters. These two are in the same units. These two are in the same units. So now I can do my calculation. Uh, and I should point out that these two units need to be the same, and these two units need to be the same. Uh, but they could have been a mixed unit. Like if I had converted this uh, 100,000 centimeters to meters, I could have had one centimeter is 20 meters and one centimeter is uh, 1,000 meters. That would have been fine because all we're going to do is once these two are the same and these two are the same, we're going to use our formula. So vertical exaggeration is the horizontal scale divided by the vertical scale. And I'm just going to take the second number here, 100,000. divide it by this number, 2,000. The units cancel, and then I get these three zeros all cancel away. I end up with 100 divided by 2, and that's 50. And it's important to remember that vertical exaggeration is always going to be a bigger number bigger than 1. So if you get a decimal or a fraction, you know you've done it the wrong way. If you get a positive number, chances are good that you've gotten it correct. So let's go ahead and do another example problem down below here. This one says calculate the vertical exaggeration, the VE for a profile with a horizontal scale of one centimeter equals 10 kilometers. So my horizontal scale is one centimeter equals 10 kilometers. And I have a vertical scale that says one centimeter is equal to 100 meters. Okay, and it's pretty clear that these two are the same. I need to get these two the same, but I'm not going to get these two to be the same. And they don't have to be is the point I was making before. So let's just convert one of these. I know that there are a thousand kilometers, I'm sorry, a thousand meters in a kilometer. So 10 times a thousand would give me 10,000 meters. So I'm going to use this scale here that says one centimeter is equal to 10,000 meters for my horizontal and one centimeter equals 100 meters for my vertical. Now you'll notice up above here, these problems are a little different. They gave you the vertical scale, then the horizontal scale down here. 
they're giving you the horizontal scale first and then the vertical. So make sure you label them to keep track of it. Once I have these two units the same, and these are both in meters, or whatever unit they are, as long as these two are the same and these two are the same, I know that my vertical exaggeration is equal to the horizontal scale divided by the vertical scale. And really all I need to do is take the second number. So this is going to be 10,000 meters divided by 100 meters. The units cancel. These zeros cancel. These zeros cancel. I end up with 100 divided by 1. And so my vertical exaggeration for these two ends up to be 100. Hopefully those examples make sense, and then you can work through the rest of these problems using those two examples to finish this up.